Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Hype Down, and right now we are going to be going over the pre-patch Frost DK, how to play it, the build, and pretty much um, the rotation and everything. Now, guys, with the Frost DK at the moment, let's just give you a little summary on the class as it as it stands. It is extremely weak due to us not having the artifact weapons, the gear upgrades, and the honor talents. Now, guys, like I said. On this on this pre-patch, just get used to the new abilities, get used to the new playstyles, and just prepare yourself for um, the new expansion. Because, like I said, you don't you don't really understand the true potential of the Frost DK until you get those new things. It's extremely reliant on it. Okay, um, but with this build, it does work. But I just don't recommend you guys to duel because it's very depressing. Because you don't have much mobility. You don't have any you don't have any really uh, any range to compete with these chitin classes okay you have howling blast and frost fever but that's about it your frost strike is not a ranged attack at the moment so you don't really have much if somebody gets away from you especially if you use a death grip and your wraith walks on cooldown you're just a sitting duck you will die and your defense is not strong enough to keep you alive without your artifact weapons 300 percent on uh, icebound fortitude but let's get right into the build guys at the moment, I am running Icy Talons, Freezing Fog, Avalanche, Winter is Coming, Permafrost, Gathering Storm, and Breath of Sinagosa. The reason why I'm running Icy Talons, guys, is because you get 10% attack speed that stacks three times, for, and it lasts for six seconds. Guys, this will provide you with 30% attack speed, which will go very, very well with Permafrost. Pretty much, when you auto-attack, you have a chance to get an Absorption Shield. But because I have this 30% up here, you know, I'm going to have all this attack speed. And it's going to give me that 30% Absorption Shield more frequent. Guys, you don't have much defense. So having this is going to be pretty consistent. It's still not that strong. I probably think it should get buffed. But it's something, and something is better than nothing at all. So that's why we have Ice Talents, and that's why we have Permafrost. Sorry, I skipped ahead, so let's go back up top. Freezing Fall, guys, this is going to be a damage increase to your Howling Blast and Frost Fever, which at the moment is your only source of range damage. Um, that's why you want this to be strong, especially um, Freezing Fog is AoE, and if you have Freezing, uh, if you have Frost, no, I mean Howling Blast is an AoE, and if you have uh, Frost Fever on multiple targets, having 25 more uh, percent increased damage is just going to help you out with pressure. Way better than having utility, okay? Avalanche. What Avalanche is, is while your Remorseless Winter is activated, it is going to have a chance to hit people with Icicles. Just adds more damage to your Remorseless Winter, pretty much. Winter's, winter is coming. What well, Winter is coming is going to add the stun effect to your Remorseless Winter. This is very, very awesome because if you take a look down here, Remorseless Winter is only on a 20 second cooldown. So that means you have a 4 second duration stun on a 20 second cooldown. This is awesome. But just make sure, guys, when you pop your uh, Remorseless Winter, you slow them down with the chain, or you just make sure you're going to get that um, <clears throat> that uh, five st five stacks to get this four second stun. So just be real precise when you pop your uh, remorseless winter, guys. Gathering storm already explained permafrost. Gathering storm, guys, is why your remorseless winter is activated. When you use runes, you're going to increase your remorseless winter's damage. Okay, and not only that, you're going to slightly increase the duration of it. So this is awesome. It just helps out your uh, your remorseless winter, and like I said, it increases the duration. So it can also ensure that you get that four second stun. So this this is that's why this is really really awesome. And Breath of Sinagosa, no brainer. This is going to be your biggest source of um, damage at the moment. It's it's very very fucking strong. It's AOE. It's got buffed. It only costs thir 13 runic power. So use this wisely, and um, you will cause a lot of pressure while this thing is activated. While this is activated, I don't recommend using frost strikes. But if you're about to kill something and you got about 60 runic power and this thing is still going on. If you know you can kill him, go ahead, fucking do some frost strikes while that shit's going on, and just turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Because that's DPS. You know what I'm saying? Your DPS can skyrocket if you combine Breath of Sin and Ghost with Frost Strike. I don't recommend it. I'm just saying if you think that you're going to kill something, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and just frost strike while Breath of Sin and Ghost is activated. So now that I explained the talents, guys, um, let me explain some ones that you could play around with. The only ones that I played around with at the moment 
where volatile shielding what this is going to do is this is going to reflect some damage back at magic caster so if you absorb damage with your AMS you're going to pretty much reflect some damage back at them but again like because we lack defense I'd rather have more defense so that's why I kind of stick with permafrost and up here this is pretty cool when you when you um reach five stacks of uh, rune of Razoroth. when you frost strike you do additional damage so this is also awesome to use as well but upon that guys i don't really use anything else hunger and rune weapon uh, i would not ever choose this over rune weapon um they are both on a three minute cooldown now as you can see which is awesome i don't if i i have a chance if i had an option to get six runes and 25 instant runic power I'm going to do that. I mean, I've used this for years, and I'm so well at using it at, at times for either defense or offense. So I just I don't I don't need anything. I don't need this, especially something that's just going to give it give me something over time. No fucking way. And um, this right here is yeah, it's probably it's pretty cool to have something that's going to decrease the the cooldown of your pillars of frost. But pillars of frost isn't really on that long of a cooldown to begin with. So I'd rather have something that's going to give me more damage because, like I said, that's what we're all about, guys. More damage. But that's it. Um, I don't really want to dig too much into the other ones. This is just pretty much no-brain stuff, like no-brainer stuff, what you should want to play with. So let's get right into the rotation, guys, what you're going to be doing while you're on your targets. Now, guys, what you're going to want to do is you want to pop Pillars of Frost and Remorseless Winter right away. Now, from that point, you're going to do one Howling Blast. That way, you can get your Frost Fever on your target because you want to utilize all your different sources of damage. So, let's get right into the rotation. So, like I said, Pillars of Frost and Remorseless Winter. I'm going to Howling Blast. I'll do another Howling Blast. I'm going to do an Obliterate and another Howling Blast. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pop Breath of Sinagosa. Now, I'm going to do Howling Blast, Howling Blast, Oblit, Oblit, Rune Weapon. Howling Blast, Howling Blast, Howling Blast, Oblit, Oblit, Howling Blast, Remorseless Winter again because it's back off cooldown, Howling Blast, Obliterate, Howling Blast, and Howling Blast. Now listen guys, what I just did... Pillars of Frost and Remorseless Winter. I'm going to Howling Blast. I'll do another Howling Blast. I'm going to do another Obliterate. Another Howling Blast. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop Breath of Sinagosa. Now I'm going to do Howling Blast. Howling Blast. Oblit. Oblit. Rune Weapon. Howling Blast. Howling Blast. Howling Blast. Oblit. Oblit. Howling Blast. Remorseless Winter again because it's back off cooldown. Howling Blast, Obliterate, Howling Blast, and Howling Blast. Now listen guys, what I just did... There was your Extreme Mongoloid uh, rotation. You get up on a target, you do a Moses Winter and Pillars of Frost. Now understand this, as you use Runic Power, you get runes back. You have a passive um, Runic empowerment what's that called yeah you have a passive runic empowerment so pretty much you gain a rune based on the uh, the the cost so you have a 13 percent chance to gain a rune back so when you pop breath of Sinagosa at 60 runic power it's okay that way you're going to get a rune and you can do some howling blast with it or some obliterates with it so you don't have to be in a hurry to use your rune weapon this is what's going to provide you with a longer breath which is going to cleave down the whole fucking team and make your damage skyrocket in the RBG or in or an arena. So as you see, as you seen when I was running out of runes, I then went ahead and popped my empowerment or empower rune weapon, so I can get an instant six runes, so I can do more howling blasts, um, so I can get that instant 25 runic power to provide me with an extra second, and then just pretty much just do whatever move I want to do, either obliterate for 20 runic power or howling blast for 10 runic power and to refresh my frost fever now the main thing you want to also pay attention to is your remorseless winter guys this is a 20 second cooldown and you need one rune for it so 
I had it back faster than what I expected. So I had to pretty much wait until I had got another room to pop it, okay? So pay attention to your Robosis winner while you are going crazy on your target. And that is pretty much it. On the beta, you pretty much would just blanket your Dragon Breath on it. You know, that big sensor goes to Dragon that just comes out from the sky and does that big-ass AoE attack. While you're going Mongoloid on somebody, that's what you do and that's what you're missing. And that's why um, I say that just have fun right now, guys, because there's no there's no sense on complaining about it because it's, it's, it's the pre-patch. You know what I'm saying? They're just giving this to you so you can test it out, so you can see what's happening. So now when you, you, when you do level to 110, you already know what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's all this is. Um, now... <clears throat> Again, just to cover my own damn ass, <laughs> because I know I have a couple of uh, Dr. Phil's on my channel that sometimes like to say, hey, no, Frost Strike is range. Now, listen, guys, um, right now I'm tapping Frost Strike. You see it right there at the bottom? It's, it's blinking. I'm using Frost Strike right now, and it is not being used. I'm clicking it really, really fast. Now, watch. As I get in range, okay, I Frost Strike. And you're probably saying, oh, that's range. No, it's not, because look, <laughs> I can also obliterate from here. Now, as I pop Frost Strike, I can't Frost Strike. And I also can't obliterate. So, like I said, for range, you only have Howling Blast and Frost Fever. Because, like I said, that's a dot, and that's going to tick wherever he is. So that's your only range attack, guys. And again, when you use your Death Grip, that's it. When you use your Wraith Rock, that's it. Classes have a lot of ways to get away from you guys. A lot of speeds, a lot of this, like a lot of things that just shoot them across the map. So now, while you're slow, let's just walk real quick. Now, while you're slow, trying to get to a target, you're just getting chewed up. And guess what? While you're getting chewed up, you don't have um, death siphon. You don't have um, plague leech into some more death siphons. And when you get up on the target, okay. Now let's just say for argument's sake, like, oh, but you have death strike. Yes, you have Death Strike, but you only have two, <laughs> which is not going to keep you alive, guys. It is not going to keep you alive. Now, just to give you guys some um, something to look forward to, rem remember in the beginning how I said that you guys don't have your Icebound Fortitude buff with your Artifact Weapon? Those two, fro those two Death Strikes is enough to get you from like 15% to full health. If you have that Icebound Fortitude 300% healing increase. So that's why Frost has some type of sur survivability. But just at the moment they don't have that. So that's why I said guys. Frost DKs are good. But if you're looking forward to dueling. I don't recommend you do it. Can you win some? Yes. But will it be consistent? Probably not. If you duel somebody more than once. And they get, they get the feel for you. They'll just kite you out and just destroy you. Um, but in RBGs, if you have a healer that's going to keep you alive so you can go out there, stick to targets, and fuck it up, you're going to have so much fun. If you have a, a good healer that you can play threes with, like I said, the damage is there, but you just need heals. So you can do arenas, you can do uh, BGs, but duels, it's not going to be that much that that, that, that much enjoyable that, at the moment. It's just not. Alright guys, but that is enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. And yeah, so I'm going to break it down with a thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Like, subscribe, refer me to some friends, and please continue to be a fantastic audience. Guys, if you have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. This is your boy Hyped On, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, also... Yes, you have Icebound. Yes, you have AMS, okay? Did, okay, just just to cover that, because I did not say that. Your healing is Death, is death Strike, and then, you, yes, you do have AMS, and you do have Icebound. I know, guys, I know these things. It's very hard sometimes to get everything out on footage, because once it's done, once it's, once it's up there, it's up there. <laughs> all right? But all right, guys, this is your boy, Hatton, and I'll see you next time. Peace.